Maria no ana o fusagu koto ga kanou ni natta. It's been a long time coming. Oh, Maria. Wall Maria dakkan sakusen no junbi o isoi de ita. <laughs> That's some good voice acting. Oh, <laughs> Aaron's a little bit overburdened. What else is new? Throw yourself into your work, Aaron. Now Levi has the syringe. This is the smoking gun. This syringe. That's not the right expression. The gun in the corner of the room. You know what I mean. He's gonna use it. <laughs> He's gonna use the syringe for something. What is it? Whoever he uses it on could theoretically eat Aaron and take the power, right? This is all about the power now. Those are the stakes. Whoever has the power can control memories, except for the Orientals and the Ackerman clan, can make walls, and it seems could also destroy or reshape the world or something. Yeah, I was a little busy with my, my ass contraption, my ass funnel, my torture device. Yeah, the Titan juice technology is right up there with the technology of canned foods. It's that outside land. Solid choice. Eternally humble. That's a lot of trust. Man, that is some real trust right there. Yeah, the more I watch, the more I'm convinced that Levi is being a little bit testy. It doesn't feel like distrust to me of Erwin. It actually feels more like he's trying to make some connection. He's reaching out, in a way. It seems like he's looking for some kind of expression from Erwin, which is not really Erwin, Erwin's style. Erwin, at his most expressive, is something like, oh, <laughs> you know? But now the syringe is back in Levi's hands. What is he going to do with it? No, no. Keep the veil on. Why are we tr trusting this guy? Yeah, this is a liability. A huge liability. I guess not. I'm okay with that. Oh, that was the intro? Damn. Look at all these special kids. Everyone's special. What's the truth? <laughs> Every time. Every time. <laughs> I should learn the words. I just bite the bullet. Oh, there's Mikasa's shoe again. Night of the battle to retake the wall. This is kind of a big deal, no? Although it might not happen this episode. This is the night of. What's in the basement? Secrets and lies. And this is really important to Erwin. Oof. Two days? But I want to do it now. <laughs> so this may not apply to Erwin just because, you know, he's Erwin. He's amazing. But just as a viewer, my feeling, putting myself in Erwin's shoes, like if I was in his situation, this would be the most dangerous moment for me because I'm so close. You know what I mean? It's a little bit easier to be patient when you don't believe something will even happen. But when you see it right in front of you, when you're that close, that's when emotions can take over. So I feel like that's a potential danger to be this close. And even though it was very subtle, that felt a little bit emotional from Erwin. <laughs> emotional for him, I mean. He's catching himself getting hopeful. But in Erwin, we trust. Damn right. <laughs> Look at all those. Look at all those smiling faces. <laughs> Shadis, Shadis, he has his own, his own struggles. Oh, heart to heart time? Something on your mind? He's thinking about this. He's thinking a lot about this. Seems reasonable. It's true. He doesn't seem like one to sit idly by.
ダメだいや餌で構わないおとりに使え It was always going to go down this way. 人類にとって最も重要な作戦になるそのために手は尽くしてある、yeah. 全て私の発案だ And I feel like part of Erwin's power is being there with the soldiers その上お前がくたばったら後がねえお前は椅子に座って頭を動かすだけで十分だ I'm really happy that this started as doubt and questioning, but became love. I knew something was on Levi's mind. I, I felt he was concerned, but it's concerned for Erwin and I guess the scouts and I guess humanity since the scouts are <laughs> the government in, you know, in a large way. It's funny that Levi, the ultimate control freak, relies so heavily on, on Erwin to make decisions. But I think that's Erwin's gift, you know, not just to Levi, but to the, the scouts and a lot of people. He's willing to let them lean on him. He's willing to be the one to stand up and suffer for that and sacrifice for that, you know, even his own life. That creates such a powerful space for other people to just fall into it. And have something to believe in. I think that one of the most difficult and maybe painful things to learn about life is that we like to think that the world is full of Irwins. You know, we're sort of subconsciously leaning on imagined Irwins, but there aren't many, if any. Like most people are lost and confused, even the people who we, we see as creating structure, you know, like our parents, our teachers, experts, officials. It's very rare. To have someone who's this cognizant, this conscious of their responsibility and, you know, have as a conscious goal to be that the pillar. Even more so, someone who deserves to be. Someone who has skin in the game. Somebody who is humble. Somebody who reflects, who's careful, you know? But I think the good news about that is it creates an opportunity. Because if that's the case, then that's a great thing to aspire to, you know? Crossing shows again, I was just talking about how All Might is like that. When All Might shows up to a situation, everybody immediately feels safe. I like thinking about that that quality, you know? What, what would it take to be able to be that, that kind of person for people? And I think that's a big part of where the love for Erwin comes in. He's strength in an otherwise very weak world. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine threatening Erwin like that. <laughs> that is a good point. He might be a liability, but his power, his power. Oh no, I'm worried that this is the mistake I was thinking of. I feel like Levi might actually break his legs. <laughs> No, Erwin, no. I mean, I, I feel so conflicted. I understand both sides. Break his legs, Levi! <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't like this. Ooh. Slash is gonna bug out. <laughs> it's the best day of her life. Yeah, they're never gonna make it to the mission. They're all gonna kill each other over this meat. You made a big mistake putting Sasha that close to it. When will you learn? <laughs> Man. I like these meat talk subtitles. I know, it's insane how much they've been through in this time. Yeah. Speed I mean, if we're talking about climbing ranks, you are you are now the government. <laughs> so I'd say you did pretty well. Remember our friend Krista? She's now queen. Oh, that's cute. You gotta admire his determination, though. Yeah, there are a lot of comparisons between Marlo and Aaron, right? Still trying to get a rise out of him. <laughs> and still still working. Still getting a rise out of him. Yeah, they haven't changed very much. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, this is a great idea right before, uh, you know, the big day. <laughs> Ooh, that's a low blow. <laughs> They're having a great time. Oi. There you go. It's a very unusually lighthearted scene. <laughs> Good to see them having fun. That is literally all they do. Whoa. I've had a lot of great stairwell conversations. 
Yeah, Hannes will be proud. You can have better days, maybe. Aaron's still in there somewhere. <laughs> yep, and that's your birthright. Was that Armin picking up on Aaron's lack of enthusiasm for the sea or something else? He got very concerned there. I guess that's sort of the fun of Aaron and the intrigue of Aaron. Like, it seems like he's growing. Basically, he's been beaten down to almost nothing. But then there have been a couple things that give him something else to lean on. Something to believe in that helps him avoid the despair a little bit. Like, learning about his mother. Hearing that he's <laughs> he was born special, right? Reaffirming that right after he found out that he was not as special as he thought. Armin brought up the idea of cycles and how they are now in a position they, they once admired. And they maybe have pushed humanity forward somewhat. That was a really nice thing Aaron said about how no one person can do it alone. And I think that's a great idea that you just do your best and you have faith that others will do the same. And together you are stronger than you ever would have been alone. It's you are greater than the sum of your parts, right? But there's this feeling of this lurking danger to Aaron that's always been there. It's been there since he was a child, even before the Titan switches. And on top of that, he still feels a little bit lost. Like he doesn't feel fully con convicted. He almost sounds like he's trying to talk himself into it a little bit. So maybe that's what Armin, you know, always the perceptive one is, is picking up on. There's some kind of threat, although it could be something else entirely. Sentiment has changed so dramatically, thanks to Krista, maybe. Partly. Wow, how do you feel hearing this after all this time of sort of being despised? <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah, they like it. Our memories were erased of that time. Oh my god, that that smile was weird. <laughs> Erwin smiling. I mean, take your moment, dude. You deserve it. It's just surprising. Yes. This is not going to be easy. We're walking right into Monkey Titan. It does feel great. The suspense, though. <laughs> They're really going into something. They're really going into battle. Some familiar faces there. What? Yeah, so we didn't get it this episode. I knew that too, and I still got caught. <laughs> and now, the answer to the, the cause of so much controversy. Will I or won't I watch the, the ending sequence? I'm going to take the fact that I remember it exists as a sign that I should watch it. I'm not worried about it too much just because, honestly, I'm not that smart. <laughs> like, the plot stuff, it, it always eludes me, so I don't think it'll be a big deal. Da, 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 da. What was that? Does that always happen? What? What is going on? What? Ooh, I'm getting chills. This is creepy as hell. What in... what? What the hell was that? <laughs> What? Oh, that was, that was something so creepy about that. La, 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 la. <laughs> no, don't think about it. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Moving on, moving on. I would be really pissed if I was watching this show in real time as it came out and I had to wait after that, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. All right, so I watched it. I'm going to put that to the side because I know it's a, it's a spoiler or a teaser, so I'm not going to dwell on it. This episode was so much hype. One thing I think it does perfectly is balancing out the excitement of finally, finally going back to retake the wall and maybe getting to the basement with the obvious danger. Like, there's so much danger being set up. It's not just the Monkey Titan and Reiner and Bertholdt, which of course is a danger. It's a danger for the the characters. Erwin is one of them. Erwin, he's in deep right now. I got a really bad feeling about that. I think that's sort of what they're setting up here. Eren is outwardly doing a little better than he was when he was, you know, had that spiky gag in his mouth, but still there feels like, you know, there's something brewing beneath the surface. It's not 
not the best mind state he's in. And then there's the general danger of they just don't have enough information. We don't have enough information, like always. So those two forces combined, you know, the dread plus the the energy, it's amazing. It's amazing. I've seen a lot of hype so far about part two of season three, and I definitely can see the potential for that, you know, going into what we're going into. This is gonna be big. This is real big. As a review of the first part of season three, it feels like the biggest change, the biggest departure of the show so far. For one thing, we're getting a lot of answers, right? We don't have all the answers, but it feels like this is sort of downhill now into information. Some of the events happened a little bit fast, like, you know, taking over the whole country, but I don't really mind that so much. If it's gonna happen, it happens. Kenny was really cool. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more of him. I felt like he died right as I was really starting to like him. Rod Race was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Urban was a big winner, I think, from this, this season so far, as was Levi. It's been great for both of them. And I've also enjoyed and been confused by Aaron. There's just so many inputs going into his character. Just a lot of weirdness. So I don't really have a strong feeling about him, except for cautious optimism that's masking my dread. You know what I mean? <laughs> At times during these episodes, I felt a little bit off. I felt a little bit confused. I felt like I had to resync with the show a little bit. Like starting with the first moments of the first episode, it's been kind of jarring. Tonally, it's been, it's been different. But I think a positive effect of that new direction, and this is in some way highlighted by the opening, Red Swan, I think. They humanize some of the characters really well by connecting them to their past connecting them to their childhood. So while I felt initially lost, I think, every time I watched the opening going into a new episode, I feel like I understood what they were trying to do better and I appreciated the characters more. There are some characters that I'm still sort of waiting for that to happen for, like Mikasa. Um, yeah, Mikasa. <laughs> yeah, overall, very intriguing, very un unforgettable part. In my mind right now, it sort of feels like there's this season and then there's everything before. For some reason, I can classify it that way in terms of my feeling about it. And so with that said, I'm really looking forward to getting into the second part of season three, which I've heard is amazing. And I imagine it will be with all they've set up. So yeah, I can't wait to watch the next episode. For me, it'll be very soon. <laughs> very soon. But yeah, before the video ends, I gotta give a huge thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting, for making these series possible, for allowing videos to actually be this frequent. So yeah, huge thank you as always. And a huge thank you to everyone because I think we're about to hit 20,000 subscribers, which is a big deal for me. I mean, it, it might not be the biggest number on YouTube, <laughs> but for me, it's it's special. It's it's a great feeling. So thank you to everybody who has subscribed. A special thank you this week to those who joined the top tier on Patreon, Princeton Vaughn and Rainy Tanimoto. Thanks again to all of you. Love you guys. See you very soon.